Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on Strata Scratch regarding order details both in Python as well as in MySQL and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions in both of them. The difficulty level of this question is easy and this question has been asked in Amazon interviews. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, find the order details made by Jill and Eva. Consider the Jill and Eva are as the first names of the customers. Output the order date, details and cost along with their first name. Order records based on customer ID in ascending order. Okay, so basically we are given two data frames called customers and orders and, and our output is a pandas data frame which looks something like this, right? So first name, order date, order details and total order cost. Let's preview the data frames that we have. So this customers data frame, right? So you have information about customers, address, phone number, right? And then you have another data frame called orders with their orders, right? So order details, total order cost, etc. Okay. So since we need the information, so if you look at it, we need information about first name and then order details. Both of this are in two different data frames that are provided, right? So the first thing that we should do is we should merge the entire information at one place. Okay. So how can we do this using pandas? We need to use pandas.merge method, right? So if I write pandas.merge and then merge orders data frame, right? With customers data frame, right? And then on what columns do we need to merge? Since the column names in both of these data frames is different, right? So if you look at it here in customers data frame, the column name that we are merging is ID and here in the orders you have cust ID, right? So you need to write left on and right on. So the first table that we have is orders and in there the column is cust ID, right? So we write left on cust ID and then write on ID and how do we need to join it? Using a left join, right? So how is equal to left. Okay, let me run this. Let's see what we are getting. Okay, so you got for different customer order details, right? And then their information, right? First name, last name, city, address, phone number, etc. Okay, so once we have this, let's store this in a data frame called DF. Now, the question says we only need to get the order details by two customers whose first name are Jill and Eva, right? So, we need to basically use boolean indexing right so basically pass a boolean values of true false right to the data frame and it will act as a filter and only where the boolean values are true those rows will be kept so what i'm saying is in this data frame df we need to create a boolean filter right so boolean indexing so we write df the first name right so the first name since we merged it right so now this uh, data frame also has the first name from the customers table so where the first name is in right so there is a method called is in which can help you check whether you know the values of this column is in a particular set of values that you are providing right so is in firstly zil and secondly eva right okay so if this is true right then it will return those rows if it is false it will exclude those rows right so let me run this let's see what we are getting okay so if you look at it now so every all the rows that we are returning either has their first name jill or eva right okay right so we have this now once we have this it says we only need four different columns and it should be ordered in ascending order now my question for you is should we first do right you know should we first keep the first four columns and then do sort or first we need to sort and then we need to keep the four columns yes if you you know keep the four columns first right so basically this entire thing returns a data frame right now let's say i kept certain columns of it right and which are order date, details, cost, and the first name, right? Now, if I go ahead and sort by customer ID, it is going to throw an error. Why? 
because once you keep only four columns and customer id is not in that right so how can you sort that based on that right so here the first thing you should do is first sort by customer id in ascending order and then keep the four columns right so here we write dot sort values right by which column cust id in, and by default it is ascending right and now once we have this now let me run this okay so now if you see like 7 comes first and then comes 12 right so now once we have this then we can only keep certain columns in the way the expected output is right so we can provide a list of column names right so first name then comes order date then comes order details right and then comes total order cost right okay now let me run this see what happens okay so we have this information right so yeah everything looks good let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah everything is green and yeah so this is how we do it in python okay now let's move on and let's see how the equivalent code looks like in mysql okay again same question no change now we need to do the same stuff right so there the first step was merging the information right so here also we need to join the information so so select star from orders alias as o let's left to join the table called customers right alias as c on o dot cust id is equal to c dot id right and then you only need to keep details for jill and eva right so we only keep those rows where the first name right and first name is in which table customers table right so where c dot first name in this list right so jill or eva okay so once you have this then you need to you know return only certain columns right so here you need to return the first four and then you can order by now do you notice the difference that you know by the order of precedence in which the sql query runs right so it starts from this then it performs a join filters and then returns certain rows right and then comes order by so since here we are only returning four columns but we can order by a fifth column which we are not even returning right so this is one advantage and here you don't need to you know first you need to sort and then you need to keep certain columns as we did in python right so firstly we return first name then order date right first name is in customers table order date is in orders table right and then order details right and then finally o dot total order cost and then finally we can go ahead and order by the customer id right so customer id is in orders table so o dot cost id okay let's run this to see what happens okay so we have this information let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah everything is green and yeah this is how we do it in mysql right so very simple question all we had to do was immerse the information from both the data frames or both the tables right and then only keep certain columns basically where first name is equal to jill or eva and then you return only four columns and sort by the customer id right in python we had to take special care because we were sorting by a column which are not going to be present in the four columns that we are returning so that is why we sorted first and then kept the four columns so yeah, let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and until then i will see you guys in the next video